It turns out you can put wires on four-way flying machines in Minecraft. So this is one of Dylan D's UFOs. His tutorials are great, so totally worth checking out his video about these uh, types of machines. And you can see there's a bunch of weird stuff attached to it, and this is a wire. If I update this piston here, you can see a signal propagate. Uh, I just wired it in an, an L shape here. And the concept is pretty much that we link together uh, the pushing modules here. So this module is linked into this one, then this one's linked into this one, then you can just kind of chain them together to send signals across a four-way flying machine. So if I remove this updated again, you can see the signal propagate. I did edit his flying machine a little bit because I needed it to not, when you start it up, just start flying, but when you update it, just move one block in that direction. So if we update this, it'll move one block. All the wire gets moved. Um, this is actually only half of the wire. The other half is down below. So the links alternate top and bottom. So it's kind of like a dolphin swimming up and down over the flying machine. And yeah, same thing. So we've moved it a couple times. Still works just fine. When the machine moves, you'll see that the wire jitters for a second or two after it's been pushed. So one of the big things that needs to be developed for four-way flying circuitry is safety delay latches. So something that temporarily disconnects the wire from whatever circuit it's powering so that the jitters don't accidentally turn that thing on. We accomplished this on two-way flying computers by just putting in a really long extension arm, but uh, as of today, there are still no four-way extension arms. As you might have guessed, I'm trying to make a four-way flying computer now, and it turns out it, it is theoretically possible to read from a two-dimensional plane of memory values instead of like a one-dimensional line like we did for the two-way flying computer. And the way you do that is you just kind of have like a piston as an output, so attempt to pull up the block, send an update signal through. If the piston fires, you have a block. Um, then, you know, and you can also toggle the bits here so you can push them down. And now if you try to read it, so attempt to pull up a block, uh, you don't get anything and no signal is produced. So someone else might have to figure out how to put all the circuitry on this thing and in a way that's four way pushable. Uh, but for now, it's encouraging that it's at least not clear yet that it's impossible. On Bedrock Edition, we have a mix of good and bad news for four-way wires. Uh, first bit of bad news, so Zhao's uh, four-way flying machine's engine uh, was not easily able to be reconfigured to just move one block at a time. So it takes off, you open this trap chest, it stops. Uh, I was able to make this, so it's very similar in that you start it up, but it just moves one block at a time. And when you push it in the other direction, it returns to its original state. Uh, the problem is that this component right here, I wasn't able to work into the four-way flying machine. On the plus side, there might be a much more compact and useful form of wiring on Bedrock, which is arrow wires or target wires. So sure enough, we can power this dispenser. Arrows will get uh, shot consecutively, and we can get a signal at the end. So watch the piston. There we go. And sure enough, this thing can be pushed because dispensers are pushable entities in Bedrock. You might also notice that this wire has no jittering. So when you push it, um, it doesn't fire, which makes it a lot easier to control. And then bad news again, I did try to put an arrow wire on Zhao's uh, flying machine just without any modification to it and it broke so we might not be able to find out if arrow wires work in four directions until we get a one block at a time engine check out dylan d and jazz videos to find out more about these four-way flying machines and world download in the description